welcome to Bobchi's Corner and we are in Bobchi's Kitchen. I thought I would bring you along to show you how I make my hard boiled eggs in the microwave. Um, so let's get to it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you my little gadget that I picked up on Amazon a few years back. And this is my plastic egg. Now what you do is you, I think this is used more of a, like a steamer in the microwave than anything. Because it has three pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put water to the fill line. Cold water to the fill line. I'm going to put the tray on top. I like to use um, my eggs out of the refrigerator. I try to use my fresh eggs um, that are at least a couple of weeks old because when you, with fresh eggs, you know, with my chickens laying these eggs, if I was to do this with um, eggs I just got this week, I would have a horrible time trying to peel them. So I am using eggs, hopefully, because I don't mark them or anything, hopefully these are at least two weeks old in my fridge. Um, so I put four eggs in here, it holds four, which is perfect for somebody like me. So this is perfect for me. This will be a couple of days of a snack or breakfast or a snack. <laughs> so I put the cover on and I put it in the microwave. So I think I'm gonna move you to the microwave. Oh, I've got this thing in there. Keep from splattering when you're reheating dinner plates or anything. So I put that in the microwave. I make sure the cover is on completely. And I set the microwave, for my microwave, it's 11 minutes. Depending on the strength of your microwave, it can take 10 minutes or 12. You know, mine, mine is perfect at 11. So I will bring you back as soon as, when the microwave is done. <clears throat> I actually decided to come back sooner. Um, I decided that... Actually, let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Yes, apparently you can. So I decided I want to transfer these eggs into cartons so that I know these are the older eggs when I go to reach for them. Again, I don't know how old they are. Um, I'm hoping they're at least two weeks old. They could be one week. We'll find out when we go to peel my eggs. Uh, so this is how I do it. I'm going to turn. I'm actually going to pull these upward. I'm going to put these in the fridge knowing this is what I want to pull from. For hard boiled eggs. I am going to move over my chicken stand. Um, I love this thing. And these are the eggs from this week. Pos yeah, from this week. So I'm just going to transfer them into here. So the older eggs are going to be at this end, and the newer eggs are going to be at that end as I add um, to them. I try not to keep eggs on my counter for more than a week. Sometimes I do go up to two weeks, but um, I try not to. So this will go in the fridge with this dozen. And then I'll be back when the microwave is done. Here we go. 
you got to be very careful. You don't want this spilling on you. I have a towel, as you can see, and I am carefully taking it out. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that's hot, 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 hot. Okay. None of them have cracked or exploded. I did not poke any holes in them. Like, I think there, there's like an egg maker that you plug in um, that you have to poke holes with a push pin into them before you cook them in those egg makers. This doesn't require that. You put cold water to the level, to the line, the fill line. With the tray, put your eggs in, cover, put in the microwave, 10 to 11 minutes, and you're good. Honestly, I think store-bought eggs work better for this than my, my fresh chicken eggs. But again, that depends how old my chicken eggs are when I put them in. So, And that will be the telltale sign today of how fresh my chicken eggs are when I go to peel them. All right, so when these are cooled down, I'll be back. Okay, I think these might be cooled down enough. Um, let's see how we do here. I collect scraps and things into a bowl for my chickens. That'll be the snack. So let's. Let's see how easy these peel. I'm going to make this easier by bringing it forward. So far, so good. So maybe these are week old eggs in my refrigerator we'll see oh this one feels i think this one's a little bit on the larger side so it feels more um softer almost like a ramen egg be interesting to see Not too bad. A little bit of damage, not too bad. Not too much. I like to dry them off in a paper towel. So there's one. This one feels soft, like it could be like a ramen egg. So let's try the smaller one. See how. There's a little bit of a smaller one. I'm hoping. Let's see how this one goes. This one feels even harder, so I think it might be. Not bad, not bad. The shell is cooperating, as you can see. You like those close-ups that people do? Sometimes I do. <laughs> this one, I don't know. This one's a little bit damaged, too. So maybe... Maybe they're a week and a half old in the refrigerator. See how they look when I cut them open. This one feels like a ramen egg. This one kind of too. So let's see. Maybe I should let them sit a little bit longer um, in the steam in the microwave. 
Well, it's good. Let's try. Let let's. Let me bring you forward. Let me. I'm gonna bring you closer. Jeez Louise, I forgot to hit record. But this is. I just cut the first egg, and that's what it looks like. It's not runny. It's I, I can't even describe that. Now let's do this one. Same thing. If I want, if I could have left it in there an extra minute, just sitting in there after the microwave went off, and that would have finished it to the point of a true hard boiled egg. But I like it this way. This is like one of my favorite ways to do it. And if I tried to do this for a ramen soup dish, I wouldn't be able to get this. Nope. Because I would want it. So I would end up either with a with an over easy or an over hard or God knows what would come out. But because I'm not looking to do that right now for a ramen cup or something. This is what I get. Perfect egg for ramen noodles. I enjoyed showing you how I make my hard boiled egg. I think it's much quicker um, than on the stove top. So thank you for joining me at Bocce's Corner in Bocce's Kitchen. And I'll see you soon.